My Van Gogh experience was when I was a kid studying oh, secondary school and I was learning about art theory and that was really when I was first introduced to the post-impressionist group and in, within the Vincent Van Gogh's work. Um, I didn't un understand his work until really much, much later on in my life. I um, understood it from all walks of all points, you know, from his, you know, have his, his mental mental health, you know, the things he did, the places he traveled to, and also the subject matter he painted. And I think that was something that I started to grow into because as I matured as a person, I started to understand it from his point of view, what he was feeling like when he was painting. But I think what's remarkable about Van Gogh is that he's got such a beautiful color palette that he uses, and that's something that really, really energizes people. This exhibition as well has put it more into perspective you know, how art, life um, coincides, and I think that's something that really is very inspiring. We took about half a year to put everything together, but in terms of the actual installation of the project, it was around a month. I think the challenges with this production, I think, lies with the fact that it's a digital exhibition, um, you know, there's a lot of moving bits and parts and there's a lot of projection. If I'm not wrong, we have around 70 projectors just in the main immersive, or in, in the overall immersive space. There's a lot of fine tuning on the machinery side of it. So I think that's a very different way of putting, to, putting together an exhibition instead of, you know, a regular art exhibition, which sometimes is a little bit more traditional where you have paintings, you set it up, but this one is a lot more intricate where you have you know, projections that are, cannot be a millimeter off or point millimeter off. And so this is something that really was a tough part of the job. And I think, you know, that was uh, really, I think it came together really well and I, hoped every, I hope everyone will enjoy it. You will see in the beginning of the exhibition about the artist where it talks, where you show, you, we, see, we see the uh, reproductions of his work. Uh, those come from his most famous um, paintings, most um, iconic ones, and also you have your sunflower series, you have the portraits, you have Starry Night, and then you also have um, sort of blown up elements of these works in a major immersive room. But what's really special is the Japanese room, the woodcut room, where we talk about how the woodcuts evolved in China and again, you know, bringing it out into East Asia and obviously ending up in Van Gogh's collection. As someone who grew up in Singapore, um, you know, for me, we were very traditional in a sense. We were learning, you know, math, English, Chinese, and it was a very traditional subject-based schooling system. And sometimes there wasn't an, enough focus on the arts. And for me, this is a really great avenue to bring art much closer to the public and also in a very, very accessible form. Because I feel like sometimes when you head into a museum, there is the fear that, you know, this might be too intellectual for me, this might be too academic for me. But here, it's, it's, it's a much easier, and much more bite-sized way of in, enjoying art. And also, it is for all people of all walks of life. And I think that's the, the great part of this. The Van Gogh experience, I mean, it's very close to my heart because, I mean, I grew up with Van Gogh. All of us have, you know, it's just such an iconic artist. Um, he's, his works are just inspirational. Uh, we grew up with Starry Night, the Sunflowers, and I think it really resonated with me.